She is a very creative child and she's a gemologist, she's a jeweler, and she designs jewelry for everyone. Most of her designs have been worn by international stars. So she, according to me, is the best. This is my Farah, my firstborn. And how are you? My God, what are you doing here? Well, I'm a guest on the show, Sunil. Hi. Hi, Farah. So happy to see you, darling. <laughs> Me too. Love you, love you, love you. Oh, love you too. Come, please come. I'm so happy come. to be here. Yes, I know. I'm happy you're here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you forgot to hug me? I'm already <laughs> hugged you. Sit down. <laughs> so how are you, darling? Good mom, I'm just so happy to be here on the show and uh, I think Sunil is one person that we like get along like a house on fire, right? Absolutely, I, yeah. I fully agree. I'm the only one who's laughing at his jokes. You know, <laughs> for once you've got two people who can't cook. You, can you cook? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, so that's why, Zareen, we are great eaters. I don't know where, she eats like hell and look at her weight. I eat a little bit and look at my weight. So, I mean, like, I'm amazed. I've got to ask you, where does all the food go? Yeah, you better tell them what Well, you... Sunil, actually, truth be told, um, I don't cook now, but I used to cook. So I actually end up eating a lot of food, but I have this, I choose health, hel healthy options. I won't eat fried food. I will eat roasted. I will eat uh, grilled. I would eat uh, pan fried food, but I would definitely not touch the oily food. I live to eat. That's, I don't love yes, to Yes, but actually you do love the crab curry yes. and the certain dishes she will grab and eat. <laughs> you know, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, for me, taste comes first, health comes second. Mm -hmm. So I eat like a pig and I don't exercise. There was a natural exercise earlier, which we yes. have stopped in many ways because people walk to school, people walk, walk to work. Yeah. Today we get out of a house into a car, then into a lift which takes us. We don't even climb stairs anymore. True. So if you continue eating like the way they did, and you don't exercise the way they did. Even I'm not point. going but into I a gym. But I climb the stairs, what I'm saying. I eat, but I climb the stairs. And I don't take the escalators. And, and I try to balance out life. That's what you I know, do. I've got to check all this out with Akil, who's a great friend of mine. Whether you actually do all this or not. Ask but him. He, <laughs> no, Ashish stayed away. about food, yeah. not How did you escape? So How did you escape food? her food by getting um, into all this? My childhood years are of all, uh, you know, recipes that my mum used to speak to, to all the chefs in our uh, kitchen so there was always something exciting and I think as children to, we always looked yeah. forward to food either there was a biryani or there was hara masala chops bagara bengans and you know alu ka bharta and a lot of those dishes too so when I think of this actually my mouth is watering <laughs> and I've come to this show only because I'm hoping that you're going to feed me on the show I will darling absolutely <laughs> so... but coming back to food all of them say that Nani's food comes always better than in our house. How is that, Mom? I would say that Sundays are a place where we actually all meet as a family, whether it's Mom's house, my house, Simone's house, Zayed's house. And there's always so much food on the table. And my mom is so considerate because she'll realize, okay, I like healthy options, so a healthy option will be made. Uh, Suzanne, at one point, was vegetarian, so a vegetarian option will be made. I don't think she's ever learned how to cook for only six people. No. I mean, uh, in her house, you can take a couple of guests ac across and they can be from all hues. Vegetarian, not eating mutton, somebody not eating chicken, and it's there. And but that's let the amazing me tell part. You, nothing goes waste in our house because we have so many people around yeah, to sure. give. And I, I think, think as my as my husband really feels that the more we feed people, the more barakat comes to the house, which correct. is very important, you know. It's same thing in my family. The only person who was is a natural cook uh, is my elder daughter Savri. Uh, I mean, really? Savri has, has an amazing my God. My God, she's got <laughs> and um, my younger daughter, poor thing, if she bakes a cake. It'll end up like a little bit of a rock and now she's improving. But the older one is, give it a recipe, it's like a natural. If you have a green thumb on agriculture, she just makes the most fabulous desserts, the most fabulous food. So Maya and all, everybody has learned in a way from Samri. Maybe Samri has got it from my mother, but nobody in the family has been great cooks, but Samri has. Speaking of great cooks in our family, of course, mom is a great cook. My dad is an excellent cook. 
My brother is an excellent yeah. cook, but yeah. none of the women in the family <laughs> are excellent <laughs> cooks. That would include Simone, Suzanne, Malaika and me. But I have to say that Suzanne actually attempts to cook and she does churn out some few dishes. Yes, yes, she's pretty but, good. But uh, Simone, um, Malaika and myself don't cook. My husband, Akil, is a great cook, yeah. so that's nice. Um, I remember we were in Istanbul recently for my parents' 50th anniversary. And they all said, okay, let's cook today in the kitchen. So who's going to cook what? So everyone said, I'll cook this, I'll cook this, I'll cook that. And I was like, and I will eat. <laughs> <laughs> you got good chefs like this, why should we cook? Everybody can't be good cooks. I enjoy cooking, I enjoy feeding people. I love feeding people and I feel there's so much of happiness around our Sunday get-togethers with my family. I would never miss them for anything in the world. I mean, we have this pool and all the kids get in and then we are all there together and it's a lovely feeling. So I really feel that if you eat together, you stay together. When we met at a friend's house and Maya and Sanjay yes, got along together yes. because both of them, well, I hate to say it about ourselves, they are well-read. Yes. They know much more than us in terms of knowledge. They remember a lot. They remember like all lot. wives not remember a know, lot. And that's what we have a trouble with wives about not remembering. And you could see the bonding starting immediately. And then of course they start, then when he was directing and yes. then Maya went on to Tipu, Tipu Sultan and stuff like that. But that's where it began. And every time I used to go to uh, her house, and I don't like Western food, huh? so I mean, there was used to be a big debate between us. And would you like to have some soup? And I'd always say, I'm already in it. I mean, therefore, I don't want any soup. And I loved Indian food. But the thing was that, as I was saying earlier, our kids got together, we got together, and it was important that... And then, of course, we learned because we didn't have too many, uh, too many servants to iron our differences out over food. <laughs> <laughs> therefore, that was equally important. No. That's nice. That's no. where but I am. But can we just um, eat now because I'm really hungry. I'm famished. <laughs> Mom, no, I'm, I've only come on the show okay. because I need to eat. You know, but okay, the question is, we are going. One second, we are going to eat. But I still, over the table, I'm going to discuss how do you manage to eat so much. I eat so little and I've been saying, and you keep on eating. This one is forever. You've spoiled her actually with all your cooking at home. Come and on, that's let what me this... take you to the table and show you how I eat, how much I eat and how I still remain slim. <laughs> take a short break. And we'll see you at the table.